Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Here I have a Eufy Robovac 30C that needs to be cleaned and I'm going to show you all the steps in order to do that. First thing you want to do is turn that Robovac over and make sure that you have it switched to the off position so that you don't accidentally turn it on while you're cleaning it. Now let's get into the different steps of cleaning it. The first thing that you want to do is you want to locate the blue dustbin button right here. You want to push that button down and pull out the compartment that gets all the dust. The next thing you want to do is you want to push that down again to release the top. Open it up to expose all of the material in there and then go empty that into your trash can. And then once it's clean, just close it back. And in order to reinsert it, Remember, insert this side up. You want to push that button down again to get it in there so that it clicks and stays in. And that's how you clean the Robovac 30C dustbin. And this is how you clean the filter and the pre-filter device in the dust collector. First thing you do is find that blue button that releases the, the dust collector from the Eufy Robovac. Go ahead and pull that out, and then you might have to press the blue button again to release the top of the uh, dustbin, and then you want to pull out the pre-filter device, clean that out with the brush that's provided by Eufy. It is also optional that you clean this with just a rinse of cold water but uh, Eufy strongly recommends, and I also strongly recommend, that you let it dry completely if you choose the water method. So uh, if you want to put it right back in, it's best to use the brush that is provided with the device. Now what you want to do is, it's going to take a little work, but you want to pop this filter back in, just like this. It takes a little work, so don't be afraid to work it in there, so that it's securely uh, located back in the uh, filter uh, pre-filter area. The next thing you want to do is close that uh, dustbin collector back up again, and then you want to open and remove the old filter from the top. Just a quick tip, Eufy allows for a uh, water rinse of these filters and you can actually rinse out the dust and reuse the filter at a later time but it's important to keep in mind that you should allow any rinsed filter to dry completely before putting it back in the machine as when it's wet it may uh, cause a malfunction in the machine so if you have two filters i can now take this one and i can rinse it and then i can use it later and i can use this new one for now now you can take a new filter. Notice that it has this foam pre-filter in here. We're going to put that in along with the filter. Make sure that it fits snugly right down in the area that it's meant for. And then place the filter over top of it with the ribbon up so you can pull it out from this direction again. So go ahead and put it in there like that. Close the filter. And you are ready now to reinsert the dustbin collector into the Eufy Robovac 30C. Again, just to press the blue button, put it all the way back in and release it. Make sure that it's locked in and secure. And now your Eufy Robovac 30C is ready to hit the floor again and start cleaning for you. Begin by turning over the Robovac to see the under workings of it. First of all, what you want to do is you want to remove the guard by pressing down these two tabs and pulling up to access the roller brush. Go ahead and remove any debris that's stuck in there in the guard. You don't want that in there, so I'm just going to go ahead and remove that. Throw it in the trash can because I don't need it. The next thing that you do is you simply pull up on the roller brush to bring it out. And then you'll see I've got a lot of hair, I've got a lot of strings, I've got a lot of things uh, stuck in there. And this little tool right here has a, a small razor blade right under there. And what you want to do 
is you just kind of want to run it in between all of those hairs so you can cut them. You don't actually have to untangle them all. You can just cut them using this tool that Eufy has provided you, and that will make your life a lot easier. So here I am, I'm just cutting all the hair, cutting any strings, any dust or anything that's been uh, accumulating in my roller brush. And then you'll see, once you've cut everything, it's all going to come off in one nice even sweep. So, now that it's cut and it's not so tangly anymore, all I have to do is pull it out and dispose of it in the nearest trash can. Watch. Now the next thing that you'll want to do is clean out the brush roll using these little brush roll cleaners. And they can grab all of the lint and all of the hair and stuff that's stuck in the actual brush roll. So just pull it out like this and you'll see that all the lint that's stuck in there is going to come right out. So I'm going to go ahead and clean the rest of this brush roll. You do want to remove all of the um, hair that's binding it up and any hair that you can get out of the sides. And you want to just make it so that it is able to be functional again. I'm going to move just a little bit more hair from these sides here. But really, for all intents and purposes, this is a sufficient clean. You don't have to get it looking like it's brand new. Just remove the major debris that might get in the way of its operation. To reinstall it, you want to take the square end right here and put it in the turning side. And then just click it back down into place. And there it is. It's ready to go. And now we reinstall the guard and we're good as new. All right, this video tutorial is about cleaning the side brushes on the Eufy Robovac 30C. First of all, go ahead and flip the Eufy Robovac 30C upside down. You can remove these side brushes pretty easy just by pulling up on them like this. They'll come right off of there. And then the next thing that you want to do is unwind any hair that's stuck between the central part of this unit and the brushes. Keep in mind that even though these brushes have bent during use, you'll see they're not exactly straight. That doesn't actually affect performance. So it's no problem if those brushes bend during use. That's a very normal thing to have happen. The next thing you want to do is get a washcloth that is dampened with warm water that's suitable for this task and just clean off those brushes like this. One thing you'll notice is that as I clean them, they straighten out. So they will return to their normal, their normal uh, look, when they, their fresh out of the box look, when you clean them. Um, you can straighten them out just using that washcloth and they'll come right along with you. So do this, especially frequently if you have children or pets or you have a lot of people with long hair as we do in my house, which may, affect the performance if you have a lot of those pet hairs or you have children's toys or floss or strings or things that get uh, tangled up in these brushes and just clean it off like that and then go ahead and put it right back on the way you got it off snap it down until it clicks and then go and clean the other one I'm gonna go ahead and do that right here in front of you notice I've got a lot of hair and debris here I'm just gonna carefully pull that all off and again, don't worry if these brushes are bent. It's a normal thing that happens during use. And then once you've got the excess debris off of there, <clears throat> you can go ahead and clean it with that dampened cloth that's appropriate for this task. Those brushes will straighten right back out. And you can get a lot of use out of these brushes um, if you take care of them. So I recommend strongly that you clean both the roller brush and the side brushes frequently. Maybe once every two weeks, maybe once a week, depending upon your uh, frequent use. Honestly, I only clean them once about every month or two months, but you can clean them more frequently than that as you like. And finally, I always, when I'm doing this, I just take the time and use the same brush to clean out any debris that's gotten stuck in these wheels here. I just like them to look pretty, and I think that my Robovac, which is named Curiosity, appreciates it. And then, once you've done that, your Eufy Robovac 30C is back clean 
and ready to head back into action. So thanks a lot for watching.